Good morning, everybody. Hope you've had a fantastic day. Welcome to what is probably the nicest morning in weeks here in the Okanagan Valley, except it's cold. I, I had to put the big jacket back on this morning. So, uh, yesterday got a little out of hand. I got uh, tied up with that virtual meeting for about three and a half hours, and I didn't make it out to downtown Kelowna like I was planning. So, what we're going to do is we're going to check it out at just a little bit after five in the morning and see if there's anything at all happening. So let's buckle up and enjoy the ride. Looks like somebody wasn't a fan of the rental e-scooters and e-bikes. Thrown all over the road. So we're right down at the water's edge here on what, uh, I guess this is Abbott Street. Very pretty. Nice little park right in downtown. I drive by it every day, but I don't get a chance to go into it. This is one way. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, didn't expect to find this. A homeless camp, but construction sites. Yeah. There's a lot going on downtown Kelowna, but at the same time, there isn't much at all going on. So we're gonna head back down Water Street a little bit. Looks like traffic's starting to pick up over on the highway. Well, we got a fire truck. Well, it would stand to reason that there's a fire truck. That's the fire hall. He's just trying to park, it looks like. So, tons of construction happening downtown here. Seems like there's a tower crane on every street corner. Well, the sun's starting to actually come up. Lots of really old buildings. It's very nice. Now, for those of you who happen to have caught the news about how there was a tower crane that collapsed here in Kelowna, well, that was at this construction site. Then we're kind of getting away from the downtown area, headed back towards residentials. And, uh, yeah. We'll just kind of see what we can't maybe see along this pretty little street. So this kind of reminds me of the street I used to live on back in southern Alberta, where it was very wide, lots of trees on both sides. Um, this road isn't even actually as wide as the one I had, which... <laughs> And this is wide for out here. But, yeah. As we drive through residential neighborhoods, I'm going to turn the camera off here and quit talking. And then uh, we'll pick this up a little closer to home. <laughs> well, I just came down to the sports ball field here so that I could enjoy the last of my coffee as the sun comes up over the ridge. <laughs> Before I have to rush home, madly scramble to get ready for work, and then start the day. So, 
Uh, things that I can tell you about Kelowna at five o'clock in the morning, it, it's a ghost town. <laughs> uh, the only real traffic was out on the highway, which makes sense. Uh, the only real people that I saw wandering around were either walking their dogs or walking shopping carts with all their worldly possessions. Now, I... I like to think that we do a good job of helping those who don't have the means to house themselves and feed themselves and stuff of that nature. And I'll be honest, a city the size of Kelowna with the desirability of the area, I would have expected to see a lot more uh, people pushing shopping carts at five in the morning. But clearly we're doing something right, or I'm just not looking in the right places, but I, I'm gonna keep the positive attitude and say that we're doing things quite well and we just have a little bit more to do. So that's kind of how my day has started. A little bit of a cruise through a very empty downtown of Kelowna. Check out some of the kind of statues right down on the waters front there. Because I try to avoid that area during the day. As you can imagine, traffic would be a nightmare and parking is non-existent. So we're gonna, I'm going to enjoy my coffee. And then I gotta rush home, like I was saying, take care of all that getting ready stuff. But uh, I had a very informative virtual meeting yesterday with a realtor, and I have a much better understanding of where I actually kind of fit into the market. Uh, right now, it's not good, because every property that's in my budget sells for over list almost immediately. So I just gotta keep an eye out and be ready to make the, the move when the time comes. So that's uh, what we've got for you for today. Hopefully you enjoy the random content of whatever happens to be going on in front of the camera. If you do, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. Leaving likes and comments on videos is always appreciated. And other than that, have yourselves a fantastic day and we will catch you on the next adventure.